Welcome friends. Uh, in this video with tutorial, I'm going to show you that how to install a printer over server and how to share it over clients computers. It really doesn't matter that uh, whether you are using Windows XP or Windows 7 or Windows 8 or Windows Vista on each of the system. The process, the process differs slightly. Okay. So let's start uh, with uh, Windows XP. I have uh, Windows XP installed on each of my workstation as well as on server. So uh, first of all, you need to install uh, the CD. First of all, you need to install, uh, connect all those hardware and power cable and data cable of the printer to the server. Second one, turn the printer power on. After that, install the driver CD which comes with the, the printer. <coughs> install it on the server and now begin. Okay. So once you install the printer on the server and uh, go to the control panel right here, uh, printer and faxes, you would see that uh, I have a printer named as Canon LBP2900 which is listed here. It is active now. If I would print, it is connected to the server. If I would print from this printer, it will, I will get a printout. But, but the thing is that, what I have to do now to get a print from all my client's computer which are attached to this computer. So in order to do this, what we would do, first of all, we would go, go here and uh, right click over here go to sharing and right uh, see here click over here that is called share this printer remember the name what is the name because it matters a lot okay you would have to search on the client's computer while installing on them sharing on them so here it is written canon lbp2900 okay so that should be accurate now apply here and ok you have seen now that a, a this is you are watching a hand finger here this is a hand figure, uh, figure. Uh, that means that now this uh, printer is shared from the server but the story doesn't end still you need to do something you have to search on the client computers you have to uh, find the uh, computer and give the address of the computer and not many things on the client computer then you would be able to get a print okay before that and uh, before this you also need to do uh, one thing more on the computer that is server go to the start menu uh, go to control panels go to network connections go to set up a home our small office network next click next I'm doing this in order to change the settings to share which allow to share the files as well as printer so uh, select this option second after that uh, my computer name is here server server it's okay also don't change remember don't change this name ms home leave it because if you will change this name the network will not be able to understand where is the server okay so don't change and you have to do this turn on file and printer sharing it is damp mandatory it is damp mandatory click over here turn on printer and file sharing go to next and next and uh, you would be prompted here don't do anything else just finish click here just finish the wizard and click on next and finish that's it uh, this is all thing which has been done and this is all thing which you need to do on the server computer and now uh, we will see on the client computer what we have to do
Okay, now let's begin with uh, the client computer. The first thing, the very first thing which you need to do on the client computer is uh, uh, go to start menu, go to control panels, after that uh, go to the uh, network connection, go to set up a home and small office network, do the next, do the next. I am doing this in order to allow computer settings to share the files and printers, devices. Select the center one, depending upon the connection you are using. This is my system number 5. This is my workstation 5. Okay. Don't change the name. It was also on the server MS Home workgroup let it be here as well don't change next do here also turn on file and printer sharing click here after that do next next <coughs> sorry now click here just finish the visual finish now what do you need to do that <coughs> go to start menu printer and faxes here there is no any printer and printer installed here so let's uh, find the printer click here add a printer remember you need to turn on the printer on the server at this moment this is mandatory otherwise it will not be able to search <coughs> second go next uh, click here now a network printer or a printer attached to other computer okay in the client computer you have to do this Uh, do next here are lot many options but try to first find <coughs> by the easiest one uh, click here on the browse for the printer do next if you would find the printer it's okay if you don't find you have to click here and follow this step you have to follow this step but uh, don't get concerned about this you get concerned about the first one if you get succeed click over here browse for printer do the next let's see uh, here you may find like this click over here then you get ms home the work group and on the server canon lbp2900 okay you can click over here you just remember i told you to remember the name okay it automatically got the path select it it is on print uh, on server do the next <coughs> click here yes that it is asking that uh, whether you want to install it on the client computer or not do the yes once you do the yes uh, internally it install the drivers for the printer sharing on the client computers okay you don't need to install the cd driver for on the client computer that's it you got the printer from the server okay canon lbb on server server is shared from here now we will get give a print we will get the printout that's it thank you very much for watching